Hello my dear friend welcome back into the another presentation of dimension analysis and in this presentation we're going to talk about the four major uses of dimensional equation you know dimensional equations are really really helpful in physics uh, seriously very helpful and here we're going to talk about the prime uses all right the first uh, use of dimensional equations is to check the correctness of an equation all right to check the correctness of an equation of a physical equation so how do we check the correctness of a physical equation as uh, we were discussing in principle of homogeneity uh, that uh, in any physical relation uh, in both side of the equals to sign you know all the terms should have the same dimensions so that principle we use to check the correctness of a physical equation uh, just, just for a while uh, I'm, I'm giving an example let's, let's say uh, v equals to u plus at all right so do you think this equation is correct if this equation is correct then according to the principle of homogeneity the dimension of v dimension of u dimension of at all should be same and if it is then this equation is correct otherwise not so dimension will be checking whether uh, the uh, whether these 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 all 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 of these have the same dimension or not so like that you know uh, we will check the correctness of a physical equation we'll be discussing about this uh, how, how to check the correctness of equation later all right in detail we'll be learning one by one all the uh, four uses okay so second uses is to derive a relationship between the physical quantities all right to derive relationship between physical quantities so how do we derive the relationship between physical quantities uh, let's say for a while i'm just 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 taking an example mm, let's say we have force we have acceleration and we have mass and now we need to uh, find out the relationship between this force uh, this acceleration and this mass then how do we know what is the relationship whether the force is directly proportional to this uh, a with power uh, with certain power here or force is uh, indirectly proportional to a whatever it may be you know so there must be some relationship maybe directly proportional maybe inversely proportional so that that power determines if it is positive then then it's directly proportional if it is negative then that's uh, inversely proportional similar similarly here mass mass has what power we should uh, we should get this relationship you know uh, there is a trick uh, how how to derive the relationship uh, first we'll write the dimension of this and then we'll write uh, the dimension of a dimension of m you know everybody and then we'll we'll put into one equation and then equating the dimensions the powers of dimensions uh, uh, powers of m uh, powers of mass length and time here into the left hand side and similarly equating the powers of uh, mass length and time in right hand side by equating them we can find out the exact powers uh, mass length and time is getting and then finally we can get the relationship between uh, this uh, force acceleration mass i'm going to tell you later uh, all right i'm just showing you here what are the main uses okay and the third use is to convert the values of physical quantities uh, from one system of unit to another system of unit all right to convert the value of the values of physical quantities from one system of unit to another so what does this mean actually mm. see uh, we have lot of uh, systems of unit you know like MKS system CGS system you know FPS system and and many more locally you know uh, globally you will see a lot of lot of there are so many types of the uh, the system of units but internationally we follow uh, SI unit you know so uh, you know anywhere if you want to convert like uh, for an example in MKS system if you go the unit of uh, energy is joule right and in CGS system if you go the unit of uh, energy is AUG e how do you pronounce AUG anyway so how how you will make a relationship how you'll convert like let's say one joule into into certain AUG right so one joule equivalence how much how much AUG so that things we can uh, we can we can find out we can convert one joule into certain amount of ox so that, that that conversion we can learn here so let's say there is one kilogram all right so there is one kilogram so one kilogram equals to equals to how many gram such things we can convert you know by the help of this dimension we're going to talk later about this how to do one by one i will tell you and the last one the use of dimension equation is uh, to to find out the dimension of constants uh, in in you know in a given uh, physical equation you know to to find out dimensions of a physical constant of physical constant in a given physical relation in a given physical relation so uh, what i mean to say that uh, the, your physical relationship may be any type of you know let's say very simple uh, gravitational rule i'm writing here g uh, m1 times m2 over r square so in this case you know uh, by the use of dimension you can find out 
the dimension of this uh, this this gravitation constant you know this physical uh, quantities you know this physical constants uh, the, the dimensions you can easily find out similarly there are you know uh, van der waal equation if you go uh, it's p plus a over v square times v minus b equals to rt here if you see in this equation this a and b these are two two constant you know and by using the dimensional equation and the concept of dimension analysis we can easily find out the dimension of a dimensions of b and and, and many more such such things you know so that's what i was saying to find out the dimensions of physical uh, constant in a, in a given given physical relationship so these were the major four uses of dimension analysis dimension equations and uh, if there is any confusion or doubt then you can please feel free to comment below this video by the way we're going to learn one by one each of those uses very very nicely with a very good examples in the coming videos so see you guys into the next video bye bye